everybody, my name is Jeff Faviano. Welcome back to the Grand Theft Auto 5 tutorial series. Today we're going to be looking at some text documents um, that don't make too much sense to you. Uh, they're meta files. You have vehicles.meta. You've seen that before. You've seen the uh, car calls. You've seen the uh, handling and so on and so forth. In readme files, they've referenced these things. We're going to make sense of all of this. Yay! Okay, I've downloaded uh, the Ford Explorer. The LAPD 2010 to 2015 one I use in most recent one of my LSPDFR videos, actually, as well as the Airbus A380-800 by Skyline GTR Freak. These are two, uh, two separate files that are going to be linked in the description below. If you want to follow along in this tutorial, I, you know, you should go download them and, and we'll, we'll be right here where I am right now. First things first, I'm going to go ahead and extract the Ford Explorer. Let's do that. He's calling the Ford Explorer. Don't 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 hate on me because I'm calling it a Ford Explorer. It's the body of a Ford Explorer. It may be the police interceptor utility, whatever. You, I, I don't care. Don't get upset at me about it. It's not a big deal. Inside here, you will notice right away we have Police Three YFT, Police Three YTD, and Police Three underscore High dot YFT. Okay, so we have a high end model, but we don't have a high end texture. Correct. If you go in and you replace police three where it says to do it, you're going to notice we're going to have a plus high Y uh, TD file, which is the texture file. OK, uh, we're going to have to delete that. I've already done that in mine, but you're going to have to delete that fourth little file uh, for this to work correctly. Let's open the readme file. And if we roll down here, it says right here, make backups. Of course, we're going to make backups, right, Jeff? Yep, we're going to uh, use open four. And we're going to go to this directory here. We're going to go to the update x64 DLC packs. We're looking for patch day 4 NG. You remember this stuff, right? And we're going to use the handling or just the center of mass line from the baller too. Now, that sounds like very, very vague because it is. And uh, it kind of sucks whenever somebody puts a, a mod out and in the readme, they just say, use the handling or the center mat. Good luck trying to explain where that's located. And I'm going to help you with that. So don't, don't fret. Not yet. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, minimize that guy for now. And let's open up open four windows, please start it up. I'm on 2.6.4, the newest version. If it pops up, says, hey, we want to update. Go ahead and update it. You want to be on the newest version as well. And we'll go into edit mode just so I don't have to mess with stuff in a minute. And let's kind of follow the readme. We need to go to update, right? Yes. X, uh, sorry, X64. DLC packs, uh, patch day 4NG, DLC, X64, levels, GTA 5, vehicles. Yay, there's police three right there. One, two, three. Now, I've already removed the plus high YTD of police three. Notice here, Rumpo has four, right? This is what you're going to normally have with every vehicle in here. And you'll notice there's a plus high dot YTD file for the Rumpo. Well, the police three is going to have one in there. I just want you to have it in edit mode and just simply hit the delete key once you have it highlighted and get rid of it on police three. OK, so the only three files that are in there are police three YFT, police three YTD and police three underscore high dot YFT. OK, so what we're going to do is take all three of these guys and drag them over and drop them. OK, I've already done this, so I don't have to do that personally, but this is what you're going to have to do. Okay, in the readme file, it says here, use the handling or just the center of mass from the baller two. Now you're saying, Jeff, I have no idea how to do that. And don't worry, I'm going to show you. Let's here in uh, open four, go to the main directory. Now we're going to be using an updated uh, line essentially for police three. Okay, so if we go into our update folder here, we go to update RPF, we go to common, we go to data. Here, we'll have a handling.meta file, okay? We're going to right-click on that guy. We're going to extract him onto the desktop is fine. You're going to have a nice little uh, notepad little guy here. We're going to open him up, and don't worry. It's not as confusing as it looks. We'll hit edit. We'll hit find, and we're going to look up police three, okay? Hit find next. There's police three right there. So we know here's the handling area of that. And right here, look, vehicle center of mass offset. There it is. Okay, so it says in the readme file very vaguely that we need to use the handling whole thing or just the center of mass for the baller two. I just used the center of mass from baller two is all I did. So let's find baller two. Let's go up to the top. We'll edit. We'll hit find. We'll look up baller two. 
not 23. Hit find next. Cannot find baller two. Why is that, you ask? Because this is an updated version of the handling.meta file, okay? This is, I know sounds a little confusing, but this is what we have to do, okay? So let's go ahead and delete the handling.meta. Or you can put that somewhere else if you'd like, but I'm just gonna delete it for now. I'm gonna go to the main directory of GTA 5. I'm gonna go to common.rpf because this is where it's gonna be located. We go to common.rpf, we got data in here and common data just out of GTA 5. We'll have a handling file in here. There it is right there. Handling not meta. I want to extract that guy. I'm going to go to the desktop. Yes, sir, Bob. And I'm going to open that guy up. I'm going to hit edit. Find. Remember, baller two. Find next. There it is down here. And look, we have a vehicle center of mass offset line. Just highlight that. I'm going to control C that or copy it. You can right click hit copy. I'm going to actually close that out. I'm going to delete that. I don't need that anymore. And we're going to go back to GTA 5. We're going to go to update x64. We're going to go to uh, d -d 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 data. Oh, I screwed up totally. I'm sorry. Update. <laughs> Let's start over together. GTA 5 update. Update.rpf. Then we're going to go into common data and then get this handling.meta file. Right click it. Extract it to the desktop's fine. And this is the one we're going to edit, okay? So let's go ahead and double click him. We'll hit edit, find, and we're looking for police three, okay? Hit find next, there it is right there. And look, vehicle center of mass offset. It's a different line than what we just saw. So I'm gonna highlight that guy, hit backspace or whatever, delete it, and then right click and paste or control V. Look at that, now we have the ballers, vehicle center of mass offset. We're done with that. So. Doesn't mean we can just X everything out right now. We have to hit file, save. Okay, now we can close that. Remember, we just were editing this, nothing inside of open force. So we're in edit mode. All we have to do is drag the handling meta file over and overwrite the old one. Okay, take it out of edit mode. We are done. So I think most of you were having issues um, with the police stuff, with the lights not working and stuff because you had that plus high.ytd file in there and I think that was creating some issues. Um, but now at least you have the correct center of mass from the baller too, so it'll behave more like a SUV than a police car. Okay, we did that. Let's go ahead and open up the A380. Now, this will be any kind of car you download, and it has a, a handling file or vehicles.meta. This is where we go in to edit things, okay? Now, I know we had that handling meta from earlier. I'm just going to delete that since we just copied it back in there, and it's, it's in the game now, so it's not a big deal. Uh, but you'll notice here we have vehicle files and vehicle meta files. Remember, today's lesson's all about meta files. So we have a handling meta and a vehicle's meta. You could simply take these and you could overwrite them inside of Open 4 and you'd be on your way. But chances are, once you start installing different vehicles, like we just, you know, we just changed the handling.meta for Police 3. If we throw this in there, then it's going to overwrite it and it's going to have an older version of it, which we don't want. So we have to pick and choose what we want from it. So. Pretty simple stuff. First of all, the vehicle files are jet, and we'll notice we don't have four of them, right? I've already taken the liberty of this. We'll be over here in open four. We'll go down here to X64E. We'll go double click that guy. Levels, GTA 5, vehicles. Yes, vehicles. And we will go down here to jet. Where are you, jet? Way down here in Jet. Okay, in Jet, I've already taken out the ones I don't need. You see we have Jet High YFT, Jet YTD, and Jet YFT. There was a plus high dot YTD file. I already removed it, and you're going to need to do that as well because there's only three here. So we take those guys, we drag them over, and at, of course we got to be in edit mode to do that. Let's take these three here, drag them over, boom, done, done, done. Uh, I think this might be a locked file. If it's locked, then we won't be able to see the model. Is it locked? Yes, it is. We can't see the file, so it's okay. But we can open up the YTD file and see that it is indeed uh, stuff for the A380, which it is. Excellent. So we did that okay and correct. Okay, let's open up this readme file together and read it. This is very important that you guys read these readme files because in here it says right here, look, if you don't want to do this, if you have other, you know, uh, models and stuff, here is what you need to edit in the handling.meta, and here is what we need to edit in the vehicle meta. So let's do that together. Remember, we learned just a little while ago how to change things in the handling.meta, and look, he says right here, it's in the update, update RPF, common data. We've already been there all day today. So let's go back. 
we go to update, update.rpf, common, data, right? There's the handling meta, okay? Right click on him. We're gonna extract him wherever you want to. I throw it on the desktop. It's just easy. I can just do this right away. Now, look, here's the jet handling line, right? Let's open handling meta off our desktop here. We're gonna hit edit, find, whoop, yep, jet. Hit find next. Here's the jet we've been looking for right here. So we got item type C handling data there. Let's highlight all of this all the way down to the next line. And we'll know we're at the next line because it starts a new C handling data line item type. Okay, so we go down here to the item just like that. So we have all this highlighted. I'm gonna hit the backspace. Boom, we have a nice hole here. Let's take all of this C handling data from the readme file as it, as it tells you to do. All the way down to the item line right there. Copy him over and paste. Boom. Hit file, save, close him out. We're in edit mode on open four. Take the handling meta we just edited, drag him over. Boom. We're done. Now I've done this already in the past, so I didn't see a change on my kilobytes here, but you will actually see that because what we just added has a little more handling line than what was in there before. So let's take it out of edit mode so we just don't screw anything up. And now we need to edit the vehicle.meta and update, update, RPF, common data, levels, GTA 5. So we're already here in update, update, RPF, common data. That's where the handling meta file was located. And now we need to find the vehicle.meta. Let's go to, well, let's do this together. I don't want to just jump in. So you're, if you're lost right now, we'll go back to the main directory. Update, update, RPF, common data, levels, GTA 5. In here is the vehicles.meta. What do we do with this? Well, first of all, I'm gonna get rid of this old handling line we have sitting here on the desktop. Don't need it anymore. Uh, gonna right click on this guy. I'm gonna extract him to the desktop. It's beautiful. So now we'll have another vehicles.meta file. If this looks different to you, just right click on it, open with, and make sure you're opening it with notepad just to make things simple. You know, that's what I'm using. So let's go ahead and open that guy up. What are we gonna be changing? Jet, right? Yep, so let's go to edit. Let's go to find, let's find the line of jet. Otherwise we'd have to sit here and scroll through the whole thing trying to use our eyes to find these lines. And this is very easy to find these things right away. There's jet right there, okay, awesome. So now we know this item line here, we need to replace that with the one that's in the readme. So let's go ahead and do that. Take item all the way down here. And remember, look at the beginning. See how it says model name jet or slash model name. We wanna look for the next line, which is gonna be the next uh, vehicle in the, in the thing right here. Uh, it's just telling us what pilots to use and all that good stuff right here. See how we change down here to the Shamal next? So we go all the way down here to the item, that, the slash item thing. So it's all of this stuff right here. Okay. And we're going to hit backspace. So we deleted all that. And we need to throw all that stuff in here. So let's do that. We right here. There's the vehicle made a file. We'll go all the way down here to the item line right there. Going to copy him over right in between the two of them. Hit paste. We're good to go. File, save, boom. We are done with that. We can actually minimize our readme file. And we have the vehicles.meta file here. Let's throw it in edit mode, hit yes. Take the vehicles meta and overwrite it. Look at that, we went from, we went from that one to up to 597 now. So hit edit mode, we are done. We successfully did it. We can delete that vehicles.meta on the desktop. We don't need it anymore, woohoo. So there you go guys, I think we pretty much covered um, the vehicles made of files and the con so anytime you have to edit a, a pretty much like a notepad file or a text file, which are made of files, XML to be exact, you would right click on it, extract it wherever you want to edit it, then drag it back in. I think we've got that part of it down now. So with that said, we did it. You should have everything where it needs to be. Uh, your Ford Explorer should be working correctly. Remember to just make sure you don't have those plus. Um, high dot ytd files hiding in the directory that you are modding because that will create issues for you if they only give you three files make sure those three files are the only thing in there that you are going to be overriding hope this tutorial helped you out guys remember uh in the comments below if you have any ideas on something i haven't gone over yet don't tell me hey jeff install the cvpi hey jeff do this install this airplane or this helicopter or whatever just if it's a different kind of modding in general, let me know and, uh, and we'll go over it. So enjoy the uh, rest of your Wednesday and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.